In this video, we will learn about the data types in Tableau. So what are those different data types in Tableau? There are basically six different data types in Tableau. Let me explain you with the help of an example. In, in the previous video, if you remember, I have taken this sheet from this uh, work, what you call say as database and drop it at this place. That is order sheet. When I drop it here, I'll get different columns and different data here. Now, these are nothing but the name of the columns, order date, ship date, order ID. Above that, that is nothing but written as orders. A very small font is written, that is orders. This is nothing but the name of the sheet itself, that's the orders. Above that, if you see, there's a small icon. If you see, there's a hash icon, ABC, calendar icon. These are different icons. What is the meaning of those different icons? Wherever you find as a hash, a small icon, that is nothing but a number data type. Okay. So here, if you see a second one, that is ABC, it is nothing but a text or you can call it as a string data type. So that is a number, that is a string data type. And third one, if you see, that's a calendar icon, where is nothing but a date icon, that is a date data type. So that is a date data type. This one is number, second one is text ABC, third one, if you see, that's a date data, data type here. If I scroll on the right hand side somewhere, you'll find that as a globe symbol. This globe symbol is another data type that is geographic. So if you see, I have this as country, city, state, and there's a postal code. So these fields are being categorized as geographic data type. Okay, so these are different fields itself. So wherever you find as a globe symbol, that will be different symbol. So in this example, in this sheet, I can show you four different data types, which I've shown here. That is uh, the numbers, where you have the text, the calendar icon stands for the date. Again, the fourth one was nothing but geographic. Basically, I've told you there are six different data types, number, text, date, and geographic. The other two options are Boolean expressions, or you can say as Boolean values. That is nothing but true and false. And the fourth, uh, sixth one is nothing but date and time values. How do I find out? How do I remember everything? So I'll give you a shortcut method. For that, you can remember. Suppose this number data field if I want to change into some other data type, so I'll just click on this icon, I'll click on this drop down and here if you see there are six different data types. One is boolean, string, date, date and time. This is counted as one. This both are counted as number and the last one I have the sixth one as geographic role. I want to change it from number to number from number whole to number decimal. So if I click on this number decimal, So if you see the number have changed and there are some decimals which are added, but the symbol, the symbol of data type did not change. So it is counted into one itself. If I click on this drop down, now if I want to convert into a date symbol, date data type, I'll click on this place. The icon changed to date and if you observe the data which I'll be getting, it is taking time. The data which I'll be getting, it's nothing but a date data type. Okay. If I click on this drop down again, now if I want to change into something else, let's say as date and time. Observe the icon for date and observe the icon for date and time. There's this very slight difference. This is nothing but a date icon. This is nothing but a date and time icon. So that is another type of data type here. Okay, I can expand it. Yeah, I'll just click on this drop down. If I want to convert this column into string data type, I can select on this place. And if you see, I've got as ABC, it has converted into a, you can see as string data type itself. The another one, if I if I click on this drop down, I have the Boolean values. Boolean values will give you the answer as true and false. So if I click on this Boolean values, so if you see, I have got as TF that is true and false. Here right now they have given as null. There is nothing related to true and false. I'll click on this drop down, and if I select as geographic role, there are multiple geographic roles. If I click on this option. And if you see there's an airport, area, city, country, state, and these are different, you know, geographic roles. If I select as city, okay, and if you see this has changed to the globe icon. So this way it's very easy to convert from one data type to another data type. And also you can learn there are six basically different data types, number, text, string, date, date and time. And the sixth one is nothing but geographic data type. So I'll make it to the default one. If I select the default one, you see, if I click on this drop down, I'll go to geographic, I'll say as none. And now if you see it has changed to the number whole itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand what are different data types in Tableau and how do we convert from one data type to another data type. That's all for this video.